Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today's video is going to be um, an unboxing of sorts. What I've got basically pickups that I've got over the last week and also as it's my birthday today. Um, I'm going to show off all my birthday gifts. There will be an unboxing at the end so stay tuned for that if you're interested in it. But more will come later on. So I'll start with the packages. I got three packages this week. Uh, the first one was from Amazon, um, and this is one that I missed when it came out a few years ago, um, and I decided it didn't have terrible reviews, um, and I just wanted to give it a go, and that is Clifford the Big Red Dog with Jack Whitehall and John Cleese, and yeah, I thought it was a decent film, um, miles, miles better than Tom and Jerry, which I couldn't stand, um, it was entertaining, heartwarming, um, yeah, it reminded me in parts of Beethoven, um, and yeah, I just had a lot of fun with it, so I was glad to add that to the collection. Next up, I'll show these two, because these two did come next. So I got these, these were all in all, I think I paid £22 for both of these, which I thought was a pretty good job. Got pretty good price, considering one of them still factory sealed, and the second one of these films goes on its own for around £20 anyway, and that is Venom and Venom Let There Be Carnage. Now, I really liked Venom, had a lot of fun with this, um, just thought it was a really fun film. However, I was a bit disappointed by Venom Let There Be Carnage. Um, didn't think it was quite as good as this one, um, didn't have as much fun, but I thought I might as well get them both in the collection so I can give them both a rewatch soon. Then I got this one which I imported from America. It was one that I remember when it came out, but I believe it went straight to Prime here. And I thought for the price it was at, I would get it because um, I generally like this genre, although I'm not a big fan of the subject matter in real life, which is weird. Um, I've said it many times before. Um, but that is a film called National Champions. Um, it's got a really good cast. It's got J.K. Simmons. Um, I think we pronounce his name Stephen James or Stephen James. Um, Kristen Chenoweth, um, David Kuchner from the um, Anchorman films, Lil Ro Howery, um, someone else that I can't remember, Alexander Ludwig. There's quite a lot of people in it. Timothy Oliphant's in here as well. Um, yeah, it was a really entertaining sports film. I watched this the day I got it, I think, um, because what I'm going to try and do now is whenever I get packages, I'm going to try and watch them as quickly as I can so I can talk about them on these videos. Um, because otherwise it looks a bit silly me talking and not knowing anything about it, having a complete blind buy, um, which I guess this was in a way, but um, I can at least say that I enjoyed it and I can recommend it if you find it. Um, so those are all of the pickups, I suppose, deliveries more um, so than that. Um, and then I've got um, a box set, two 4Ks and a collection item of sorts. Um, to show, so the box set I'll show for first. This was um, these are all birthday gifts now, um, and this was a birthday gift from my grandma and granddad, and that is the Hobbit trilogy. Um, I believe it was last year I got the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, my mum and stepdad kindly bought that for me, um, and I watched the Fellowship of the Rings, and I just all came back how much I love those films. I really need to sit down and watch them all again soon. Um, but yeah, I really wanted these because I don't have these in the collection at all. Um, so very, very happy with this. And then my sister today literally um, went to HMV because I told her that there was the 2 for 30 going on. And I just gave her a list of ones that I was interested in. And she said a lot of them she looked for and she couldn't find them. So I'm probably going to go later in the week and get some more with my birthday money. Um, pop into town one lunchtime or something on my lunch break. Um, but she did pick up, she picked up Greece. Um, which I didn't have in the collection at all, and I thought it's a staple in your collection, really. Everyone should have this in the collection. Great musical, great film, so very happy to have that on 4K. And then also War of the Worlds, which I've not seen for a very long time. Um, it's a Spielberg film, it's Tom Cruise. Um, so yeah, I look forward to watching this again. I'm very happy to have that in the collection. Um, and then the last thing, which is the biggest thing, which was present from um, half of my birthday present, should I say, half of my birthday present was I got a region free um Blu-ray player. Um so now I can buy any watch any region um Blu-rays now. Um and then they also got me this beautiful set which I'm very very happy with. Um 
and it's very heavy so apologies but I am trying to lift it you've probably seen a few people unbox it before but I will unbox it as well as this video is quite short at the moment but that is the Clint Eastwood signature collection um, which is all 61 of his films up to when this came out um, most of which are on blu-ray there's a few I think there's four DVDs the rest are blu-ray um, yeah um, I love Clint Eastwood um, I've probably spoken about it on my channel before he is one of my favorite actors and I remember seeing unboxings for this when it came out and just thinking it's really expensive I was never going to be able to get it but um, obviously these were limited edition luckily I found that there were a few still in CEX a few like now um, and it was like half the price that it was when it was released and I just jumped it and luckily it came in absolutely pristine condition um, so I shall do a little unboxing now um, so what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this I'm going to put this down and just show you a little unboxing so I'll be back in a second right so I'm back um, apologies for the angle this is the best place I could find to do it on my bed um, because I've not got a lot of room in my room to basically put this so thought it was the best place to do it so as you can see I'm trying to do this one handed without them all falling out because they do have a tendency to fall out let's get the spine first so this is limited edition 1977 of 2000 and that is the spine and then we have on the back the J card and that has all the films that are included in this edition as I say it is all of his films but if you want to pause the video and have a read through you can these were all of his films up to the mule and then on the back behind the J card we have a quote from Dirty Harry I'll leave the J card off a second then I shall turn it back up to the front and I shall show you all the individual things so we get I believe there's nine in here it was actually the right way up before believe it or not it's been put in back to front um, so I'll go through each one and just show you what's in each one so this is the first one um, this is all of his films from 1964 to 1970 and they all come in little sleeves so they are quite loose they're not like very sturdy so that's what I'm trying to be careful with this set so for example Paint Your Wagon is on DVD um, but the rest of these are on Blu-ray so that is the first one I shall then put that there then we have 1970 to 73 and then it's got the films that he started to direct so play misty for me which was his first directorial debut um, then it goes through here i believe all of these are blu-rays um, looks that way then we have 74 to 80 And then again, those are all the ones that are in this one. I believe this one up here, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, is also a DVD. Then we have 1980 to 86. Those are all the ones that are included. Honky Tonk Man is a DVD as is Bronco Billy although I know that was released on Warner Archive in America so that is one that I will aim to get on Blu-ray and hopefully I know it won't match but I may put it in this set I may not and on the backs as well it also has I'll just show you on this one all the films on there and the years they came out then we have 1988 to 1993 and these are all the films that are in this set so there's all those and then we have Pink Cadillac which is on DVD as is White Hunter Black Heart and I think those are the only other two on DVD then 
then we have 95 to 2004. There's all the ones you get in there. Some in here that I haven't seen. I haven't seen these two yet. Then we have 2006 to 2012, which is mainly comprised of all his directorial efforts during this period. I think there's only two in here that he starred in Gran Torino and Trouble with the Curve. And then we get 2014 to 2018, which we get Jersey Boys, American Sniper, Sully, 1517 to Paris and The Mule. And then we also get these two documentaries that he did, um, which are both on DVD. And then in the final, I don't know what to call it, folder, it's a type of a folder, I suppose. We get one called the Archive, and this is really nice. This was part of what makes it worth the money. So it goes out like that. And we get a nice little forward from Clint Eastwood, which you can pause and read. We also get some art cards from various props in his films. So we get the hat and the gun from Unforgiven. We get the boxing gloves from Million Dollar Baby. I'm trying to do this is at the best I can. We got Heartbreak Ridge. Oops, sorry about that. We have Pell Rider Hat. And then we have the piano which he plays in his office at his production company. We then have two pages, or one page technically, part of the script from Unforgiven. Or, no, it's an itinerary, sorry about that, I thought it was a script. It's an itinerary for the shoot of Unforgiven. And then we have several posters for all the Dirty Harry films, which I'm not going to get out and show all of them, because that would take a lot of time, and you can look them up online. And then we get this, move those, so we've got Enforcer as well there, and Mac Enforce. And then we have this little booklet here of Pale Riser, and if you open it, we get more art cards. So I shall show those off now, so we get that one there. Then that one. That one. And that's everything. So that is the Clint Eastwood collection, signature collection. As I say, as you can see, it is a very nice set. Very, very happy with it. Um, I will definitely be delving into some of those Clint Eastwood films that I've not seen yet. Um, because I've only really seen more of his newer films. I've not seen any of his classics, really. So I think I'll start at the start, go with the Spaghetti Western trilogy and just work my way forward. Um, but yeah, very happy with all my birthday presents. Thank you to everyone that bought them for me. Um, I also obviously got the uh, three unboxings, which I'm happy with. As I say, I've seen them all of them. Um, but I will be given Venom and Venom Let There Be Connors a rewatch soon. Um, but that is it. I'm not going to go on any longer. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, I do very much appreciate it. Um, because not everyone's interested in seeing unboxings. But I thought I'd do it because I've not seen loads on um, YouTube for this specific thing. I've seen a few and they were quite a few years ago. So some people may not have caught them back then. So I thought I'd do one myself, make the video a bit longer um, because there wasn't a lot of other unboxings this week. I have ordered quite a few stuff. I've ordered a few more from the 2 for 30. I'm currently um, going backwards and forwards on an offer with someone on eBay for a few 4Ks, um, the, a part of the set. Um, so I'll see if I get that. Um, so there will be another video hopefully this time next week and I'll show everything that's come in the post. I ordered something else from America last week as well so that should hopefully it'll be here this week. If not it'll be here the week after so it'll be in not next week's but the weeks after. Um, but yeah that is it. So 
thank you everyone for watching if you stayed until this point. Um, don't forget to like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Turn your notification bell on so you know when I have uploaded a new video onto the channel. And comment down below. I reply to everyone's comments. I really do appreciate when people leave me a comment. It can help make my day sometimes if my day is going slow. Um, I just I like interacting with everyone on YouTube. And I like knowing that people appreciate my YouTube videos and I'm not just doing them for no reason. So yeah, that is it. Thank you. So until next time, everyone, take care. Goodbye.